Hey guys, what's up? So today I bring you the Sonic Adventure Restorers 11 inch figure. Okay, so here we have him in his box. Here's the front, here's the side, here's the back, here's the other side, the top. Alright, so now let's get this figure out of the packaging. Alright, alright, so we now have Sonic out of the packaging. And first off, oh my, this figure looks amazing. So, if you're like, so if you don't know, this, well, I just said it, but this figure was released during the Sonic Adventure era, and it was made by a company called Resoros. So, the whole thing with Resoros is that they made their figures based out of packaging. So, that's why this figure, for today's standards, it looks a little weird, but it, to me, this figure looks like Sonic. Every time I look at this figure, I just think of... I don't know. I just think of Sonic Adventure. So, yeah. Ah, oh, this figure is so amazing. So, first off, let's get to the articulation. So, it has a swivel head, which is really, really tight. He has swivel cut arms. Uh, he has um, hinge arms. So they move out and in, and they also move forwards and backwards. Uh, wrist swivel, the leg has a swivel cut, forwards start far, and backwards that far. And he also has, and he also has an ankle swivel. All right, so let's get to details. Oh my God, this figure is so goddamn detailed for you know for even though it looks a little weird this figure is so detailed okay so first off let's go to the head which is like for which if you're like a new fan it'll be like the weirdest of here it'll be like so um now let's get to the head which is like the obvious thing that separate that separates this figure out of the so now let's move to the details First off, the head. My god, I love this uh, figure's head. Just, the eyes are actually smaller in this version than the 4 inch. So yeah, I guess that's a plus. Um, we can see that they even sculpted Sonic's teeth. Um, which is actually a thing they do. They almost never give us a Sonic figure with their uh, teeth, with his uh, teeth uh, showing. Which is kind of weird. So yeah, he has sculpted teeth. And he has that Sonic Adventure smirk, or smile, whatever you want to call it. He has a very long, kind of pointy nose, which I kind of like, not gonna lie. Uh, his ears are like, bented, which is a little weird, but I like him, I like him. It's not bad. Uh, his, spine, his spines are really, really long, or quills, whatever you want to call it. Um, he also, he also, this uh, quills are very triangular. Which, it's pretty funny, uh, but I like it, I like it, it's kind of funny. Um, of course, a uh, new Sonic movie figure is not going to look like this. So yeah, I think if, that if you get this, this is going to look like really different compared to the other stuff you have in your collection. He has, uh, his back spines are also really long and really point down, downward a lot, which I really like it. Uh, the tail also not that long, but yeah, it's it's long. It's fine. Also the um, and also the belly uh, thing is also sculpted in here, so it's not just painted, which is better than Tommy were doing. No, I think the Tommy one was actually sculpted. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't. I don't really care about Tommy in the first place. The arms are really long, they're bent. I wish this uh, arms had a, a hinge joint, but hey, this is a figure from the 2000s, uh, 1999. I don't remember when this figure released because, well, I wasn't born yet, so yeah. Um, though I wish it had a hinge. And even the fingers, uh, he has this pointing Sonic Adventure style hand. Which is pretty alright. Um, 
yeah, as you can see, my figure is kind of yellowed. Which, yeah, it's a bummer. But hey, it's not bad. I think. You can see, like, even the details on the hand. Like, here, here. Uh, you can even see, like, the fingers are, like, bent. Which is something that Sonic figures don't have anymore. They always have, like, just open hands. Or just closed fist and a thumbs up. They never have him pointing. Uh, I didn't ever have him with, a ha with his hands like this. I don't know, I think it's kind of lame. Um, and the shoes are really, really long. So, uh, he has the bottom of the shoes sculpted. Um, the buckle. Yeah, the shoes are also kind of yellowed. And he has that white strip on his shoes that he, that he used to have. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's for details. And, so yeah, his feet are curved, so you can put him in a running pose, like that. Which I think it's really, really good. Um, a lot of Sonic figures, well, modern Sonic figures, don't do that because, well, it would be hard for the figure to stand up. Which, kinda is for this figure hard to stand up. So, yeah. Uh, and, and for the paint... Overall, it's pretty good, but as you can see, if you move if you move the arms a little too much, you will get some uh, paint scuffing. Uh, you can see like the eyes even have like a black outline. Um, the ears are really well painted. Um, although in here the figure is kind of missing a little bit, a little bit of paint. Uh, it's not gonna show up in the camera. But, I'll, I'll show a picture. And, yeah, you can see, like, the shoes and the gloves are kind of really yellowed compared to the eyes. The yeah, shoes are really well painted, which is something that uh, most companies really get too wrong. And like I said, uh, uh, they don't paint this white thing anymore. Heck, even Sega forgot about it. So, yeah. Um, there's barely, well, yeah, there's barely any paint bleeding. I don't know, I think, I think this figure is one of the best Sonic figures ever. But hey, that's just my opinion, alright? Like it says in the packaging, this figure is 11 inches, which makes it the tallest Sonic figure to ever exist. Now let's compare sizes. First off, we have the Sonic Unleashed figure. I think it's Unleashed. And mainly because of how the spines look. But yeah, first, here we have this figure released by Jazzwares. Yeah, this thing is only 10 inches, which this one beats it. It looks like they're the same size. But if I just move it a little bit, you can like, you can see that this figure just wins because of his ears. Yeah. And now let's compare him to my 18 inch Spider-Man figure. Which, yeah, this thing is really massive. I can't even fit it into frame. So, there we go. So, I think that's it. Overall, this figure is not that bad. Now, if you're gonna buy it, I recommend you to wait or get it second hand. I got my figure. I got this figure for my birthday, so that's why I spent a lot of money into it. Uh, this figure cost me around... Uh, let's see, $110, which is not cheap, but it's not as expensive as the 4-inch figures. So yeah, I recommend you getting this this guy uh, instead of those, even though they're basically the same figure. They're, they're the same figure, however, there was another release of this figure, which had a base. You couldn't put Sonic in the base, but the base had a sound chip, which had Ryan Drummond's voice on it, which... If that version was for sale, I would have gotten it, because God, I love Ryan Drummond. He is the best Sonic, and that's a fact. Like, he just brings so much character to Sonic. That's why I love this figure, because it reminds me of Ryan Drummond's uh, impression of Sonic. So yeah, I love this figure so much. Uh, so yeah. Oh. Uh... So this makes it my fourth Sonic res Sonic Adventure item. With my Resaurus Knuckles, my Resaurus Big, 
and my Sonic Adventure Fun for All plush. So yeah. Now, uh, I'm gonna now I'm gonna talk about pros and cons. Pros: this figure is gonna stand out in your collection. Uh, not a pro. This figure is so well painted com compared to new Sonic figures, besides the Sonic Nandroid. If you're a Sonic Adventure fan, I recommend you getting this figure. So now I'm gonna talk about some cons. First off, paint chipping. Like I said in the arms, you have to be careful with those, or else the paint is gonna chip off and the blue is gonna show up. That's something that I always hated about uh, companies that make Sonic figures, that they always use like blue plastic to make the arms and legs. I don't know, I always kinda hated that, because it's kinda cheap and it makes the figure look cheap as well, but it makes it less durable to time. So yeah, that's something. That's why I didn't like the Sonic Tommy figures. I don't know. I think they were pretty lame. Uh, <laughs> like literally, this figure, which is 21 years old, I think. This figure, which is 21 years old, has more articulation than a Tommy Sonic figure. Like, can you just believe that? Yeah, that's crazy. And it looks better, in my opinion. Sonic told me I'd crash anyway. Um, oh yeah, and another con, as you see here, 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 and here. This figure is gonna get jelloed over time. This is something that happens to plastic because of a chemical they have in it. Which is bromine, I think. Or something, I don't know, I think it's bromine or something else. But yeah, basically with exposure... So basically with the exposure of sunlight, this figure is gonna get more yellowed over time or let's say you have a dreamcast like I do uh, if it's exposed to sunlight for a really long time it's gonna get yellowed which happened to me it's not that bad but yeah this is something that you'll have to look up for um, yeah in another con maybe just the price this thing is is expensive but hey like I said this is only for like art core collectors. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is Akko and signing off.